now let's take a look at the Radica Space Invaders plug and play. And I've already looked at the one by uh, Jack Specific, which is a really good one. This one is okay. I, I really like the design of it. I like the Space Invaders logo and the Vaders in the background. It kind of looks like an arcade uh, control panel a little bit. The joystick does have micro switches and it has a metal shaft on it like an arcade joystick. It's not too bad. However, the fire buttons here, they're just regular carbon dot little springy things. There's no micro switches on these, which that's a minus for me. I like the plug and plays that have micro switches in them the best. We have our menu button here. On the front, we do have a power jack that we can plug in to power this thing instead of using the four AA batteries. We have our on off switch here on the side. A little power LED will come on when the unit's on. It's a pretty nice looking little unit here. Let's plug this thing in and try out the games that are in it. Awesome! Radica! Radica! Taito! Arcade Legends. Oh, okay, this is pretty cool. We got a selection of, what, five games here? Of course, we have the original Space Invaders. Lunar Rescue, which I really enjoyed that game in the arcade. Colony 7, Kicks again. But this one has a game I really love, Phoenix. Oh yeah. So let's start with Space Invaders. Play Space Invaders. That's what I want to do. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is the original. Whoa. Now the joystick works really well. Fire buttons, I don't really care for. They're, they don't have micro switches on the fire buttons. But it seems to respond okay. Whoa. Whoa. Pretty good version of Space Invaders. All right, let's try another game. Hit the menu button. Lunar Rescue. Let's rescue the astronauts. Press button. Okay. Stage one. Fitty bonds. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Boop. Run. Run. Whoa. Whoa. Well, so much for that astronaut. Dash. Oh! <laughs> uh, let's try one of the other games here. Colony 7. Fighter. Scout. Okay, here we go. got my shot. This game would be great with a trackball. I like how the UFOs explode kind of like uh, in the Atari 2600 game Space Attack from Mattel. Oh yeah, good scout. <laughs> oh, come on, come on, get him, get him, oh no! Hey you, look at that. Down to six fighters, five fighters, three! Oh man, my thumb's wearing out. Yes! 
for the points. Oh. oh my gosh, my poor thumb. Oh, so much for that. That's a pretty fun game. Of course, kicks. Gotta have kicks on any Taito, Taito collection. Sounds are a little ugh, for this one. Oh, clonk! Ooh, that was close. That Fifty-two percent. Oh, here we go. Make a run for it. My favorite on this plug and play, Phoenix. Yeah. Ooh. I like the rapid fire level. Of course, my thumb doesn't like the rapid fire level too much. Switch thumbs. Ooh, that was close. Oh, these guys move. Ooh. right into that one pretty awesome game man not a bad little plug and play got a nice collection of Taito games on here uh, only reason why I really wanted this one because it had Phoenix on it I'm really getting into collecting these arcade plug and plays for some reason pretty nice to the collection overall I like it I like the joystick controls on it don't care for the fire buttons too much sounds are kind of I think I kind of like the Jack Specific Taito uh, plug and play better than this one, but it's still pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.